All right, this is gonna be a very quick how-to for the Just Wrong main theme. A great new song uh, by Blake Mills and Pino Palladino. I'll play it for you first, and then I can kind of uh, go into uh, how I think about the, the, you know, the figure. So the big pain is getting the thumb independence. The one thing that's happening the whole riff is your middle three fingers are going to be striking quarter notes. You're going to be doing your D, G, and B string. And there's four shapes that it's doing that with. The first one, and I'm playing it with my last two fingers. I'm flattening them. The first one is just all like the sixth fret, right? You could you could you could kind of think of it as uh the top of like a C sharp uh but here it's functioning more as part of an E flat. Um so you've got these two fingers barred then we're doing the top of what would be an E chord, so that's D string, 6th sixth, sixth fret, G string, 4th fret, and um, B string, 5th fret. Then you're going to go 7, 7, 9, and then 7, 7, 7, right? So when I'm playing this, I'm using these two fingers for the bass line in the first figure. And I'm switching halfway through to just barring the sixth fret of all the middle strings. That way I can have access to these upper notes. So you should kind of think about it as there's like this bass stuff going on, and then this bass stuff going on. And the key is just to practice it slow, get that thumb independence, and switch between the two of them. Let me play um, everything on the first chord really slowly for you for a second. Then we switch to our E chord. That one's really fun because all the bass notes are occurring on the ands. So first you'll hit your four middle strings at the same time. And then you'll go to your low E string. And then I'm just sort of moving up the bass notes here, open four, five. So we got And what I'm doing is I'm taking this finger, my first finger, and then moving it down like that to play the bass riffs while keeping um, it, you know, slightly barred so that this finger is still able to make the notes work. So I'll play what we've got so far really slow. Now we got the easiest part. Now I've seen a lot of people online kind of barring this part, and that's fine if you are an inhuman, you know, Superman. But I found it a lot easier to do first finger, second finger, third finger, pinky, and then bring it down like that. So you got this right here. And the only thing left is... 4th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the A string. So that part is like this. I'll do it slow. You'll notice here, I come into this shape and I play the bass parts here instead of here. 
doesn't really matter how you do it, it's just a matter of preference. So let me play the whole thing slow one more time. So yeah, that's uh, that's how it goes. Um, hope that was helpful, useful. Um, it's a great song. Go listen to Blake Mills. <laughs>